Okay, game one. Odd Shaman against whatever this is. Uh, new card. Let's keep the new card. Give a minion plus 2-2 two, two. if it's a totem, summon a copy of it. Best card in the game. Okay, what we do is turn two. We will select the best totem in the world. Spell power. Um, now, the reason you play Odd Shaman is because you can get more than one of the same totem. Which you can't do when you play Even Shaman. Uh, yes, your hero power does, in fact, cost two, and um, you lose to basically everything in the game, but, like right now, I lose to this, but if he doesn't clear my spell power totem for some reason, well, then we're just popping off, like, watch. Go wrap the very totem, and sometimes, he won't clear. Is that stupid? What did he discard with that? Lakari Fellhound. So he's gonna have two Lakari Fellhounds. That is kind of juicy. So we Totemic Reflection. And then realize it's only a two for him. It doesn't even clear anything. Extraordinary. And then I guess we can trade the two one? It really doesn't matter that much though. But yeah, okay. Five damage Lightning Bolt. Five damage Serpent Shrine Portal. Actually insane. Jack, um, uh, 13 and 5 of the deck. Poggers. Check it out. Spellkin, where is my Maelstrom Portal? I feel like I might be getting scammed here. There is no Maelstrom Portal that I see right now. I feel like you kind of want Maelstrom Portal here. Hmm. What to do? This is a problem, yeah. Uh, I've been thinking about it, and it is in fact a problem. We can get another 4-6 though, so we should probably do that. Another 4-6 sounds good. And then we probably want to like Lightning Bolt one of these, which kind of feels bad, but we probably actually want to do that and treat a 1-1 one -one so he draws less. So I feel like him drawing cards might just kind of make it so it's a little bit tougher for us to win the game than it would be normally. So we'll play a 5-5 five -five with Rush, value trade my 4-5, then we're going to cry. Okay. Yeah. So we did it. We have a portal though that gives us a random three cost unit. Which has to be turbo broken. A Grey Heart Siege. Nice. Uh, I think we're missing the stealth minion part, but we got kind of close. Fortunately for us, okay, never mind. He gets to value trade our 4 5 Wrath of Air Totem. Um, there is no fortunately for us. This game sucks. And he gets a free 3-3. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, fortunately for us, we get to come on our opponent with uh, Cum Cumulo Maximus. But, uh, you know, we're still going to do it. It's not like the game's over, but it is maybe a little bit harder than we wanted it to be. Yeah. A little bit more difficult than we'd like it to be. Which means we're going to have to drink a little bit more water, you know, stay hydrated, activate our brain. But he plays a, a 4 mana 3 8 taunt. Okay, that's kind of also problematic for us. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of issues here. We can get a taunt totem to save ourselves 2 health if we want. That kind of sounds good. But then we're going to play 3 drops. Which kind of sounds bad. I don't know what one random what uh, sorry what random one mana spells we get, but maybe this is actually the road to victory. Instead of like the portal and three drop, so we can still totem if we have to after. It's not that good, but if we get bad spells, Urshak's a thing. That was actually kind of a juicy outcome. We don't really have an overkill, but we clear more than we would have otherwise. So. Not bad, actually. Play two of the three drops and a hero power next turn as well, which is pretty good. Dude, you get Totemic Reflection and a Titota. To draw five trillion cards. Actually insane. Now, if only my deck weren't odd and I had a card called Devolve in it, we might actually have a decent shot of winning this game. But that's okay. So, we have 8 damage right now. We definitely don't have lethal, but... I mean, we're kind of getting sort of close. 
not like really close, but we're kind of like in the realm of it being possible eventually now. Let's do the portal thing here and see what drops. That is kind of turbo good. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for here. And then this card has more attack than the lady, but the lady has spell power. Which is kind of valuable. I feel like we should probably... So maybe like Lava Burst in one of these to keep this 5 to protect it is good. I feel like it's probably reaching a little bit too much. It's maybe like Value Tree to actually get a Taunt Totem. That sounds kind of good to me. Play like the... I mean, I feel like I prefer to have some play first actually because it just does more damage. And I can play for 3 mana next turn anyways. So we play the 5, 6 and we just get a Taunt Totem. Value Tree, there we go, face. Winnable. The only problem is we had to play no cards like Maelstrom Portal and no cards like Devolve to be able to achieve this this great outcome that we have going on here. But on the bright side, our opponent is also killing himself. So that's good. Uh, we have 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. Play Lady Vosh. I guess we could actually... If we really want to just, like, show them we know how the deck works, do the Wrath of Air Totem, so we get Spell Power now, right? Then play Lady Vosh for fun, and then Lava Burst's face. And I think we may have found the best deck in the game. Odd Shaman. Literally unstoppable. I don't know how you can beat this. But definitely not by playing Discard Warlock. The Cobalt spell can kind of carry it hard too, right? Definitely... A little bit of a weird one. How did this monstrosity win a game? I don't think it's actually that bad. So, the flavor of the month is definitely the discard guys, right? But, homie could also be one of the legendary good old cube decks. Or if he's really ballsy, he could still be playing Dark Sour Warlock. I think that the only thing I really want is this. Because it seems like Totemic Reflection is really good. And then just like fish for random shit. Okay. So, I mean, that's a lot of cards that say three on them. We don't really have that many cards that say one on them anyways that are good, right? Like usually what we're doing early game is just pressing the totem button. So we should be okay. None will survive. Turn one for Warlock, man. It's always the most difficult turn in the entire world. Flame Imp or the one three or you pass. Or sometimes, if you're playing even lock, you hear power for one mana. Which is kind of insane if you ask me. So, we could coin here if we want. It makes it more likely that we hit Totemic Reflection. But I feel like I want to save the coins. I'm not going to coin. If we don't hit the Reflection, we actually don't need to on Curve because we also just have other things we can do. Not really this. So I guess now we're kind of fucked. I think cast a spell last turn. I mean, I guess sometimes they just don't clear the totem, right? It feels like it's just this and then this, but we'll see. Like last game, the opponent just didn't clear the spell power totem. But he was also playing an aggressive deck. This guy, probably not an aggressive deck with the library boy. I feel like I missed that part. That was a little bit weird. Because he could have like tapped and then like... I mean honestly, it doesn't really even matter. Don't worry about it. Really does not matter that much at all. Uh, I guess I just do this and get a 3 drop, yeah. The Lifesteal card, okay. Does anyone know why I'm drawing double Lightning Storm? Okay. Trust me. Uh, Lady Vosh. That's a thing? Probably rather just play the Marsh Spawn now. Discover Spell. See what's popping. Uh, honestly, the Might's not that bad. Even like Eye of the Storm is kind of a relevant card. So, what do we want to do next turn? Could Totem buff our Totem's health and then play Totemic Reflection? Yeah. The thing is, they play the card that like kills all your cards for one mana, which is kind of bad. I don't really know what I'm copying with this that makes it like 
worthwhile to play. I guess like any one mana spell, but uh, we don't really have like the hand size to play it. So I feel like I'd actually rather take this. Seems kind of stupid, but I think keeping the totems healthy is big. Because then you don't have to really like really worry about like defile or uh, or dark skies too much. It's just really plague of flames. And we also get to pick totemic might in a non-even shaman deck. In fact, we're picking it in the exact opposite of even shaman, I if... which is odd shaman. So here we go. So since we are odd, we don't have devolves and we don't have the other card, which is kind of fucking bad. But you know what we have? Heart. We do have heart. So we're gonna get two two sixes with um, spell power. Do we play to atomic might first, or do we do it after? I feel like we should do it after. That just feels better to me. I think we we could trade. We could also go face. It's kind of interesting. Uh, trade, trade. Two, it's a three. That's a one. So I guess we do that. We did defile stuff. Sure. So damage wise, seven here, five here. And if we play this, we get a little bit more. We can also cure power. Definitely not enough to win the game with yet, but we're kind of uh. Doing some damage. Control, I'm playing against you. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Take a nice, hard, long look at the hand. Make sure you become well acquainted with what I'm playing with. Good luck. Well, Mr. Extreme Man, your deck broken. Why hero power costs two? Sorry for bad England. Um, no. Even Shaman is just too small brain. We're playing an Omega Brain deck. Odd Shaman. Think about it. Take a second. Odd Shaman. Defender from Kurtzut. This guy's a Reno player. Wobble Wee Wah. That's a good card, but what do I even do that on? I kind of want to play this, but I don't really get to. So I'm just like sitting here for so long. I think I just do that this turn. Stay healthy. You play this deck because it counters Seeker Mage, Quest Mage, and sometimes a Demon Hunter. Uh, maybe like Quest Mage. You could be Quest Mage sometimes because they can't really deal with two four totems, I guess. You can burn them out. I feel like you'd lose the Seeker Mage super hard though. And Demon Hunter would probably rip you a new one. One mana deal two hero powers are pretty strong. That is also a nerf card. Wobble Wee Wah. Uh, that's a thing. It is, in fact, a thing. So we do that. If it's Void Lord, I'm going to cry, though. I guess if we don't win the coin flip, then we can just, like, trade that there, but... I guess if we... Sorry, so if it is Void Lord, we actually can't do that, right? So we actually should play this first, I guess. Thanks, dude. Um, okay. Okay, that's not Void Lord. Um, it's close to Void Lord though, which is really bad. Taste my is this not I should still probably clear it though. So a lot of things probably beat me now, which kind of sucks. Look, that doesn't straight up beat us. Can't really play anything, we don't lose to it. Could also six mana bolt that shit down real quick if we want. Throwing Baku probably not the best. I feel like we just spell can here and go face. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Odd Shaman beats all decks. You know, I don't know if I'd say all decks, but it definitely 
He wins some matchups. Yeah. Like, this is probably one of your better matchups. Because it's a slow deck, the life taps to reduce their health total, and then... You know, sometimes they don't have Plague of Flames, so you get like 50 of these things, and then you go face and win. Tilly trades and plays Lord Godfrey, then we cry about existing, but... We'll get to that when we get to that, right? Actually, he doesn't, he doesn't even have to trade, right? He just plays it. Yeah, face for five, then Godfrey, and then they play like a... A nine mana card that does something. Okay, and dark side should be clear. Close to clear. We have eleven plus three plus three. Seventeen or one off. Uh but we can do that. Do have enough mana? Yes, we should win. Should be exact ease. Big dead. Odd Shaman can literally never lose games. 100% win rate, Jalen. Best deck in the game. Top 400 legend. Poggers.